uh hey what's up everybody uh welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm gonna show you how to make five in one wall canvas for free okay so i've seen a lot of people uh may uh, commenting on my video the, the last video that i made that i uh, uh, this isn't a, a tutorial uh, i couldn't explain because i couldn't add any voice so i decided to uh, add my voice to the video for you guys so please 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 if you find this video very useful make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification icon for more videos like this every single day so what i'm going to show you today uh, is very simple how to divide your own picture it could be your picture it could be a picture of your client or anything that you prefer any picture that you prefer okay so i've seen a lot of people selling this making a lot of money from selling uh selling what art and designs on google on facebook on instagram and other any other social platform so if you find this video very interesting and very useful please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this every single day so as i said today i'm going to show you how to make five in one converse okay i've already made a lot of videos without the voice okay i, I didn't add my voice but in today's video i'm gonna add my voice and i'm gonna go step by step on how i made it okay because uh i didn't add a voice okay i make it a silent video and i've seen a lot of people complaining that uh the the process is is, is very difficult for them okay so i need to add the voice so i decided to add the voice for them okay so that they can enjoy and re and subscribe to the channel for more videos okay because i said i'll be coming with more videos every single day so five in one converse uh, is very simple and easy if you have photoshop if you know uh, anything about photoshop even if you are not if you are not into photoshop you don't know anything about photoshop i want you to pay attention and watch this video to the end because it's I, i'm using some trick okay it, that is personal from me all right so i want you to uh, i want you to pay attention to these to these okay because particularly what i'm going to show you because if you don't if you don't pay attention you are not going to understand what i'm going to show you okay it's very simple and easy and so before i get into this uh let me show you uh how i made my okay i've seen a lot of people uh, making uh their frames so let me make a sample of um let's say uh 10 by 5 or 10 by 4 okay let me 10 by 4 good so this is just an example okay so uh, i'm making my like um the way i want it to be okay i've seen a lot of people making their uh one feet by the size i preferred 10 by the size i prefer but normally i made it 10 inch by 30 inches okay i want you to put that in your mind i made it 10 inch by 10 inch by so for this i made mine it's very simple okay don't worry i just want you to pay attention to it it's very simple so let's say uh one feet one feet one feet is, is equivalent to 12 inches okay good so as you can see i'm using photoshop to write it <laughs> so one feet is, is cover equivalent to 12 inches okay so it's very simple so to understand what i'm going to show you is very simple so we are making a five in one canvas okay so five in one canvas we are going to need five layers all right it's very simple i want you to follow this step by step okay we are we are not starting yet i just want you to follow the step by step so the middle one probably is going to be as i said earlier i made my 10 inches okay but i've seen a lot of people they also make it 12 inches which is the same but 12 inches is bigger than the 10 inches if you understand me good so this is what i'll do i'll make the middle the middle one which is the big one this is the middle one i'll make it 10 by oh sorry 10 by 30 all right and the next one this one no no the light is not straight <laughs> this one will be the same as this one because that one we have to make two all right so let's say uh this and this one are the same size so probably here is going to be 10. no here is going to be 10 
by let's say 25 so as you can see we are just removing 5 inches from each so here will be 10 by 25 all right, so now we have three pieces. Okay, so let's go to the number five. Is that 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 last piece? Okay, so probably the number four and the five is gonna be the smaller. All right, so here, let's make this one smaller. Mm -hmm. It's not straight. <laughs> all right, so no problem. Just uh, using it as a demonstration for you guys to just to understand what I'm going to show you. It's very simple. So let's make another one here. This one has to be smaller. Good. so we have one two three four five so we have the middle we have the side inside and we have the smaller all right so probably here's going to be 10 and here's going to be 20. so depending on how you want it you can make here 30 something like 24 or 18 it's so all the same or you can maybe here 30 20 15 it's so all the same so probably i'm going to make here 10 I'm going to make here 20 all right so as you can see I hope you get the idea of what I'm showing so here we have 10 10 10 10 10 so probably it's going to be so before uh, I dive into that as I said uh, I just want you to understand what I'm going to teach you today okay it's very simple and easy so I'm going to make a new composition okay so new new document okay so I'm going to name it five in one canvas five in one canvas Good. I'm gonna hit enter now so here is the tree so five in one canvas so as I said with the width and the height I normally made the width 30 because this is the 30 so I'm gonna put here 30 so we have the uh, the uh, weight uh, no, so the height is supposed to be sorry the height is supposed to be 30 all right okay so the height from the top to the bottom is 30 and we have the width which is the 10 10 10 10 10 so 10 plus 10 which is 20 plus 10 which is 30 plus 10 which is 40 plus 10 which is 50 so we're going to make here 50 bam so now we have our the new document sheet ready to be used so we are probably the next that we are going to look for the picture okay so the picture could be your picture it could be your picture of your client could be any picture that you prefer probably i'm going to use picture from the web all right <laughs> i don't want to put my face in it so i'm going to use a picture from the web so i have this fantasy pictures uh, we're just going to use we have this mortal combat let's see if we can use this one probably so make sure before you do this make sure the pictures the position are going to work so well because as you can see here is the middle so it's gonna fill the middle properly all right so make sure you have the picture in position correctly so you can start so you have this one too this one can work because the picture is not that big so you can just add the four we can just add the the, the middle the side and side and the small the small all right so probably let's see i have a picture that i want to use it's one of my picture one of my favorite picture it's very nice and clean let's see if i can see that picture and use that picture and you can use a picture from god of war if you like so so maybe in the future i'll show you that so i have this game i want to use let's see if i can find that so where this game this game this game this game mm. let's scroll a bit let's scroll up a bit let me see this picture not this one so probably if you don't find a picture you can use any picture that you prefer okay so probably i'm going to use this picture let me put this one here good so this um it's an animal award i think this picture is from our pixel okay where you can find free copyright pictures for your video okay so you don't get any copyright claim or copyright strike so i'm gonna fill in the picture with it so i'm gonna hold down shift and alt to fill down the document okay so i'm gonna hit enter to accept it 
could no let me let's reposition that again I hit enter and let push up small all right so uh so we have our picture in position so the next thing we're going to divide it as i said we have the the middle one which is 10 by 30 the side and side which is 10 by 25 and the small one which is 10 by 20 okay so to divide this correctly i've seen a lot of people on youtube make a manual uh manual split okay they'll just go use the marquee tool the rectangular tool they'll just draw they'll draw and they will copy layer copy now let me rasterize this layer rasterize copy i've seen a lot of people doing this and they'll copy here no they don't, they don't we don't do it like that okay you don't do it. you're probably going to get the work wrong okay if you was trying to sell the image to a to your client to frame it probably yours is not gonna get that the, the the size correctly okay so this is very simple i want you to pay attention and watch so as i said the middle is 10 by 30 so probably we're gonna make a new document so probably we're gonna make here 10 by 30 resolution with 300 no problem so we are going to accept that good so now we have 10 by 30 inches so let's fill that one with this text so this is what i want you to do i want to make any color that you prefer probably i may i choose red okay so this composition is 10 by 13 so make sure your picture of your solid picture fill the frame okay no 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 good so let's so now we have 10 by 30 uh new layer so probably we're going to use this as a mask okay so we are going to import that one here so we have 10 so we have 10 by 30 so this is what i will do I will, I will unlock the background so i can see the middle so this is the middle so i can put in a guide so as you can see because we we made from top to bottom uh 30 inches so we have 15 inches divided okay good so we are going to accept that so let's see if our picture is uh, positioned correctly so let's add one from here too so we can see our pictures position so as you can see it's positioned correctly good so we have it in place so probably you're going to do the next one the next document we're going to make a new document we're going to make it 10 by we're going to leave it 10 by 25 all right 10 by 25 we're going to make that blue let's make that blue so let's fill in so we have 10 by 25 okay so let other one so so probably I'm gonna make two of these okay so let add to the uh, middle good so as you can see we have 10 by 25 10 by 30 so probably we're going to drag this one so we're gonna hold on hot hold on out we're gonna choose um we're gonna choose layer duplicate or we're gonna order out and try so let's do layer duplicate layer so we have another one so let's move that over here good so because of the resolution resolution is 300 so my machine is running a little bit slow because i'm using i5 core i5 it's not that <laughs> yeah so uh let's manage and watch the tutorial to the end so it's very simple and easy as you can see um so i have two layers which to this and uh, this is supposed to be the same as i said 10 by 25 10 by 25 is supposed to be the same. so we're going to define our which 10 by 20 10 by 20. so without wasting much time we have the we, we already have this we're just gonna edit it all right so let's go to image 
image image size no let's go to image size so instead of making new document we're going to make here 20 so we can use the same so we can use this so we can change the color to let's say yellow so let's import that too so we're going to add that one here we're going to put it in the middle good so as you can see now you understand what I'm teaching you all right so so as I said, so this one is supposed to be two so probably we're going to order alt and drag or we're going to right click on our layer uh, duplicate okay let's use that one so that we to be very simple for you guys duplicate so let's go here good so we have all our pictures ready to be divided as you can see uh, i didn't do it manually i didn't just use my key to, to drag and copy the image no i use simple calculation to do this so uh, you can follow the process it's very, it's very simple and easy so the next step we're going to copy cop our images and we are going to print it out it's very simple and easy so before uh let's make sure you subscribe to the channel you turn on the notification icon for more videos like this every single day so it's very simple let's go to the next one let's add a new uh let's say a new guide here so that we can know where we are going to split so let's select this one let's add a guide good now let's and this one so let's add a guide here so here let's add a simple guide all right here to the same guide so the middle one probably we're going to add it here no we are moving the image we are not supposed to move the image we are moving the guide good so let's go to the next let, here let's select so that we can see the middle uh, let's see it's there sure it's positioned properly so let's go here add to the end good so let's add some to the bottom too, so that we'll be able to see the place that we're going to cut so let's go to this one let me select that one so that we can position it properly all right so when you're done with this you can save it as a template all right so next time you're not going to do all these things uh you are just going to use it as a template for your work okay so now we have it so we can just down turn down the opacity of this picture so we can just hold down shift and select all as you can see it's all selected it's all selected just hold down shift make it about let's say 10 or let's say 45 good so as you can see you can see the uh picture uh in the background okay so uh work is ready to be used so when you finish i don't know the type of material that you're using some of some people are using stickers okay you just buy a board from their local store and they'll print a sticker and they'll place the sticker on the board i've seen a lot of people using banner okay so that the two type of material that we normally used you can use banner so banner if you really like banner just have to make sure you have more uh more space so that you can use it to stretch it on a on a canvas okay so it's very simple so it depends on the material that you're going to use okay so make sure you follow this and want to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this so it's very simple so let's close this document let's close this one too good so probably what we are going to do so the next thing we're going to do is very simple because we want to have a margin we ought to have a, 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 a extra place so that we can use to stretch or we can use to place on our board it's very simple let's click on the new document which new document probably i'm going to make it it depends on how big or how small you want it to be probably i normally mix mix it around i add five inches five 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 when i'm using banner i had five here five here five here five that is 15 five five and that is 25 okay so probably i'm not going to use band you can use stickers so if you want to use stickers just make it around let's say oh 60 okay 
60 by 30 it's not bad or make it 60 by 35 so you can add a background I've seen many people they use black some people use gray gray color so it depends probably I'm going to use green color it's not green it's gray <laughs> gray color good I'm going to lock that good so I'm going to control this is where the magic happened okay so with the image selected with your image selected okay you can turn off all this because we have the guide but I don't want to turn off because anything can happen can make a mistake because we don't want to make a mistake okay so what we have to do is to go to uh, rectangular my key rectangular okay make sure it's zero further is zero and probably you're going to copy the middle one good so as you can see it's 10 by 30 so you see 10 by 30 good we're going to use right click via copy so as you can see I picture is, co is copied okay so with the original layer selected once again let's go and copy the side and side so side and side you see 10 by 25 you see it right there 10 by 25 it's work like magic so probably going to copy that one to layer via copy so we have that one too so without select again probably we are going to do that for five times let's go here let's select you see 10 by 25 then my 25 again so we have all correct okay good so right click layer via copy so we are going to do the same for the side and side which is a smaller one so let's click on that one again so can you see that 10 by 20 10 by 20 okay 10 by 20 copy that so let's go to here Probably let's close that one. You see, ten by twenty. All right, so let's copy that one. So now we have our picture ready to be print. Okay, so I think we have done uh, all this the uh, tutorial. Okay, so we can just turn this off. Sorry to see you go, bro. Good. So now we have our picture. So we can turn the background off too. That, as you can see we have the 10 by 20 10 by 25 10 by 30 10 by 25 10 by 20 probably are going to collect uh, you're going to select all with a hold down shift and select I'm going to copy and put it here so this is where the magic happens so where this is where we are going to uh, do all the printing okay so as you can see the picture itself you don't see any any of or uh, unless we move it let's say five inches one two three four five good let me move this one one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five good so now you can see everything is intact so when you try to uh, uh place that on the wall it's a fix it will go through as you prefer so you can do this for any other process like three in one four in one five one seven one eight in one ten in one anything that you want you can use it using photoshop i hope you guys understand now okay because i've seen a lot of people complaining oh no this isn't the tutorial because there's no voice so i decided to uh make this for you guys to enjoy and make money from it because i've seen a lot of people making a lot of money from this okay selling uh let's say say let, let, let's search on google i've seen a lot of people making a lot of money from this all right so we have that let's see if we can check it on the website five for one let's go and search it on their website probably going to see the price of it too expensive okay so if you pay attention to this you can make a lot of money from it all right so let's go here see if you can see the prices so this from nigeria is fifteen thousand naira. <laughs> check it on jumia it's not small amount of money bro and the guy is ranking face on google okay 
this is also from Nigeria a golf the golf ball what art can about painting <laughs> there's 15,000 there I don't know if you convert to a dollar because I'm not in Nigeria probably I'm in Ghana so <laughs> I don't know okay no fun oh sorry so this is for uh, US okay so this is so expensive my bro 200 206 Ghana cities huge amount of money more than $20 okay so if you if you're smart enough you follow my tutorial you can make a lot of money selling this online okay you can have your own store about canvas okay have different different pictures on your website boom ready to make that money so without wasting your time the channel name is um i think i just changed the name to uh home of interior deco so make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, uh with a notification on for more videos like this every single day as i said i'll be coming up with a great information for you guys to enjoy so all i want you to do is subscribe to the channel turn on the notification icon for more videos like this every single day so i will see you in the next video thank you